Welcome back to part two of the fiber install. Look at this guys, I'm so freaking excited. Fiberglass around there with six glass glass strings going through. There's six glass strings it's going through the conduit and they left a lot of extra. Right now they're at the end of the street right now. We're gonna go into the house and through the attic. And if I they left extra if I want to put something on the addition that we're putting in. I'm still waiting on the guy to pour the concrete right here and they're just behind her doing the RV park in Yellowstone, so that's more important, which is fine. But that's the way it is. So I can't get my addition in until he's done. It's building is so booming right now. It's even, it's it's hard to get anybody. So I've been on a what two month waiting list. There's the fiber guys right there We're pulling the fiber. Pulled it all the way through, no problems. Pulled it all the way to the street, no problems. And then they're going they're going like a quarter mile down the road. So they're they're putting it up on a beam right now on a pole. They pulled it right here. This is the fiber right here. If you look at the string right here, this is the end. That's the fiber strings right there. See it? So they put I put the box in upside down so they fixed it apparently. Well we got the fiber in, but it's not working because I think a mouse ate the line they said they're still looking into it. Hi. What are you doing? Uh cleaning up the fiber mess. I'm kind of bummed out we don't have any fiber. It's alright. Um we'll get it tomorrow. Well it's the next day, it's six in the morning, Jack. Time to load both trucks up and get RV repairing. What's nice is I got a chauffeur. Is that what you call it? Yeah, chauffeur. I don't have to drive anymore. I can eat out of my little fancy feminine bag. Hey, what do you think? Should we go pick up some toilet paper? Uh, if there's any left. <laughs> what are you doing, Ryan? Climbing a ladder. Climbing a ladder? <laughs> That's all you got to say to the cam? Yeah. Match is really good, too, so. Well, this was from all the flood. I didn't show you the grill, but the grill had, like, that much mud in it. So we cleaned it out. Pretty nice grill, huh? The Gen Air. Really heavy, really heavy. How's your beard going? Uh, it's got some uh, cool seal in it. <laughs> and Ryan's over there right now driving around. We're getting out of here. I'm tired. We'll go check some fiber out, baby. They hooked it up. That's the fiber, and I'm going to hook it up right now. We'll do a speed test and check this out. Give me a minute. i got to set the IP addresses. Hey, guys. Got some wipes. Gloves. In case the coronavirus gets too bad. We got it all, baby. All the headache and pain from waiting on things to load is in this little box that I had to deal with for three years, which I'm happy about because it's unlimited bandwidth, but having a fiber direct wired to the pole underground, it's very expensive, but it's so worth it. I'm streaming 4K right now, and it's so clear that I don't even think my monitor can handle the clarity. I mean, I'm not complaining too much because AT&T was good to us as in tech support sucked, but it was good to us as in we had something and it's better than nothing. But having that fiber is just a game changer. I'm going to do live videos, YouTube videos. We're going to do live RV help twice a week. We're going to do it in a new edition. We're going to build a little studio for YouTube just for live RV help. And then when we get our shop, we're going to do one in there too. And we're going to move it to the shop. But that's our plans to do live RV help. So keep stay tuned, guys, because everything's going to be free in this channel. All the live help. So anything you guys need, we'll be calling in. You can be we're going to take call-ins from a phone phone number, and you can ask questions. I'll answer the questions. And if some if I can't answer them, I'll tell you I can't answer them. But most of them I can. So that's it. Have a good day. We'll call you guys. We'll uh, do a YouTube video tomorrow, and I'm going to be live tonight. And I I should be able to get this video up in like one minute instead of 24 hours.